Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, here to bring you a first look at some cool stuff. I have this right here, which is the Atabal X. It is a first focal plane, one to 10 variable power. Of course, I need a mount for it because it is a 35 millimeter tube. I have a Bobro throw lever mount. And then also, I got these new irons that are kind of special. They are made by Ultradyne and kind of looks like a rear aperture and a smaller rear aperture, but Gonna put in some time with them real quick. We'll go ahead and start with these Ultradyne irons. These are essentially what happens when you have someone outside of kind of like the gun community with all the dogma, this is how it must be. Coming from engineering background, they're like, oh, well, why don't we try this? And to that end, you have basically a rear aperture and a smaller rear aperture up front. So again, rather than like splitting your focal plane, moving to back and forth, and then like, okay, focus on the front sight, you actually focus on your target. So you line up your target in the middle of this aperture, which you line up in the middle of this aperture, and you break your shots. And it sounds pretty crazy. When I was first explained it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this, but gave it an honest go. First course, had to go ahead and mount these guys. Busted out the fix-it sticks. Make sure these guys are torqued to spec, about 15 inch pounds. And after that, proceeded to get this guy zeroed at 50 yards. Per zeroing instructions, you want to zero at 50 yards, get it about 0.4 inches below your point of impact. So that when we move back right here, we can adjust this to up to three, four, five, et cetera. And that is actually yardage. So basically end up zeroing this for 200 yards. And then you can actually adjust it like your old school A2 iron sights for different yardages. So after I had this thing zeroed, went ahead at roughly at 50, also stretched it out over at 200 yards. As long as I was doing my part, it was pretty easy to hit my reduced silhouette out there at 200 yards. I will say with this, if you're trying to shoot on like paper, you need a really distinct like point of aim. So if you have something with a lot of contrast that you can actually see through here, much better. Hard shooting paper, I didn't have a really refined target, but pretty easy to get them on that reduced silhouette. And of course, why not try things up close? So I actually did some shooting around my vehicle at about 50 yards at that same reduced steel silhouette by TA Targets. These things I think are pretty cool. I'm going to play with them more and bringing my thoughts as I get more time with them, but so far I'm enjoying them. This was also my first opportunity to put in some time with this Atabal X. I ended up getting this with the Bobro mount, 35 millimeter tube, 35 millimeter mount, throw lever, really handy, especially when I wanna work these new irons. Initially got this guy zeroed at 50 yards. After that, put in a little time, essentially working this through some unconventional shooting positions around my vehicle.
This did a good job for me there, being able to use the illumination and give myself a little bit of magnification, make it quicker to basically pick up those shots, even shooting support side. And then came back here to 200 yards. Really nice being able to crank this up to 10 power, being able to spot your impacts. Ended up with a fist size group on paper with this running some 55 grain training ammo from Full Metal Jacket from Minutemen Munitions. Plenty pleased with it. I think with some like precision ammo and this platform and this optic can obviously take it out further. I think this will probably be better suited on a different host, maybe kind of a pseudo precision 16 inch gas gun. So we'll see if I end up moving it over onto something else. As I eventually put in more time with this Atabal X, as well as these Ultradyne sights, I will get back to you with a full review. But so far, enjoying them and looking forward to spending more time out on the range with them. If you appreciate my content and want to support it, I would greatly appreciate it. Whether it's just liking and sharing videos, going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, maybe patches, picking up shirts over on Teespring, or of course, supporting my content through Patreon. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.